Hello, Tim's Tips here. I wanted to talk to you, get your feedback on an all-electric RV, including a Tesla Cybertruck with a huge battery uh, and towing a, a trailer. And uh, I want to show you how I might do it, uh, how what possibly might come out of Tesla to enable us to do this uh, boondocking capable four-season RV for much cheaper than you could ever do a van build. So uh, take a listen. Here we go. So based on my background here, I wanted to build an all-electric RV, and as you know, I built an electric, uh, a Sprinter van with a, with a Tesla battery in it, but I wanted to go all-electric. So I looked at what the Cybertruck could do. Um, it probably has an 800-volt battery. I looked, you know, looked at all these uh, requirements. It ha probably has a 220-volt inverter uh, or some inverter that we can tap off of. Uh, I want to do somewhat in indefinite boondocking with the solar panel on the roof of the uh, of the trailer and uh, have the trailer have a small lithium pack so it could exist independently uh, using solar panels uh, want the I want the trailer to be uh, commercially built this time rather than building it myself I'd like to get a, a, a true four season capability uh, trailer with good insulation or excellent insulation and windows and uh, so it has the ability to not freeze, uh, so I can use the plumbing uh, during freezing times, as well as uh, you know use the EV charging network for the Cybertruck, so it can be recharged quickly. Also here, uh, looking at a vendor search, we'd look at a charger for the RV's lithium ion battery, uh, solar panels, uh, retrofit the RV for all electric operation, including the uh, you know, induct induction uh, stovetop. Uh, the HVAC system, the cooking and hot water, probably have an instant electric hot water heater. And true, this is true instant hot water within seconds. Um, so I have these requirements and then I uh, wanted to show you what the, you know, some of the Cybertruck marketing from the Tesla website, uh, the storage, they're obviously advertising it to tow a lot of weight and I'll get into that later. Uh, being able to store some other things in the, uh, in the bed of the truck. Uh, six passenger capability, so definitely good for families. Um, showing some camping capability here for you know one or two people. Now here's the, uh, the crux of it, uh, very rapid acceleration. This thing's a muscle car. Uh, 500 miles of range, uh, 14,000 pounds of towing uh, capability. If you look there, also adaptive air suspension. So when you do put the trailer on it, it's going to adapt uh, the rear of the vehicle uh, with uh, its pneumatic uh, air suspension. Uh, what I wanted to do here is show you, uh, here's an interpretation of what it might look like, uh, get a off-the-shelf uh, RV a trailer and modify it. Uh, what would the possible modifications be? Uh, you see the cable there is going to be important, the electric cable connecting the uh, the RV, either 800 volt DC or uh, the marketing says there will be an inverter on the uh, Cybertruck that could power uh, anything you want, uh, but it could certainly power uh, an RV, uh, have maybe an onboard storage, uh, lithium ion storage. Um, there, you, you take away the uh, existing uh, petroleum based uh, heating system and, and add lithium batteries and uh, inverters and whatever you would need extra to power your uh, your, your trailer. <clears throat> so you have 120 volt, 220 volt inverters possibly, or use the inverter on the Cybertruck itself if it has enough capability. So as shown here, if the Cybertruck uh, has a 220 volt inverter or even 120, you could uh, use that cable uh, to power uh, the, the trailer and uh, you know, we'd have to balance uh, how much load the trailer draws versus what the Cybertruck can provide. So that's it now for uh, an all-electric RV, finally uh, within our grasp, maybe by the end of 2021 or 2022. Thanks for listening, and please subscribe.